Hello, sports fans and football fans. I'm here. It's Sportsman Z, and I'm back again. And this week, we're doing week four NFL picks. Now, in week three, I was 10 and 6. So that means that for the season, I am 30 and 18, which means I'm averaging. 10 and 6 every week. So it was a decent week. Um, you know, a couple of games. You know, there's always that cup. There's always that that team like Dallas that loses when they're absolutely supposed to win, and it's supposed to be one in the win column for me. But this week is going to be tough, though. Week four looks like it's a tough week to call. Um, and so let's just dive right into it. Thursday, September 28th is the first game, and that is going to be the Lions visiting the Packers. Now, the Packers, they're a tough team to call. I mean, I just really don't know what's going on with the Packers. It's hard to know if they're good, if they're bad, if they're mediocre. The Lions, they have a great offense, not so great on defense. They give up a lot of points. They're on the road. But you know what? In this one, I'm going to go with the Lions. Take the Lions over the Packers, even though the Packers are at home. It's, that's the first hard game to call. But I'm going to say Lions. So now we get into the Sunday, October 1st games. The uh, first game is going to be the game from London. And that's going to be the Falcons at the Jaguars, although really no team is home in this because they're both in England. Um, the Jags coming off a tough uh, loss last week. And, um, and you know, and the Falcons, I like what the Falcons are doing this, this year. Um, I, in this one, I'm going to take the Falcons. Probably against the uh, the the whatever common logic or better wisdom or whatever you want to say, but I'm going to go with the Falcons. So now uh, moving along to the Sunday game, the rest of the Sunday game, we've got the Rams at the Colts. The Rams having to go like back through, back to, to the middle of the country, up to Indianapolis. Uh, the Colts are looking, the Colts look pretty solid. Now, the Rams, I thought, were looking pretty solid, but then they lost last week. I believe they lost, yeah. So, um, you know what? I'm going with the Colts in this one. Take, take, take the Colts. Next one is an AFC North matchup, and that's going to be the Ravens at the Browns. And the Browns are home here. The Browns have a great defense. Deshaun Watson played better last week. The Ravens, the Ravens are kind of like the Bills. Every so often they have a game where they just crap the bed and you just don't have any idea why they crap the bed and they weren't, weren't supposed to. And last week was one of those. Um, so in this one, with the Browns at home, it's hard to pick against that defense and a, uh, a steadily improving Deshaun Watson. I'm going to go with the Browns. Next one you got is the Vikings on the road taking on the Panthers. Panthers, you know, um, their man Bryce Young, he's still going through the growing pains of being a quarterback. Um, and he may not be back from his, uh, I think he had a concussion. And so it might even be, um, you know, carrot top. Um, at quarterback, I'm going to go, in this one, I'm going to go with the Vikings. The Vikings are due, I think the Vikings are due for a win, and I think they'll get it here. Next one you got is the Bengals on the road at the Titans. I'm really not at all impressed with the Titans. Uh, the Bengals, they have their issues. Burrow uh, injured his leg, um, so, you know, he's playing through an injury, um, but I'm going to, on the road, I'm going to go with the Bengals to beat the Titans. Next one you got is the Buccaneers, and they're playing on the road against the Saints. 
Uh, the Saints will probably have Jameis Winston in, and he didn't do much coming in in relief of uh, Carr so far. But uh, they have a stifling defense. The Saints have a great defense. And the Buccaneers, they're just a, they're just a wishy-washy, mediocre team. I'm going to go with the Saints to win this. Their defense might have to win it for them, like by either holding the Buccaneers to almost nothing, but they can do that. Uh, or like scoring or something. But I think they can do it. Dolphins, the explosive Dolphins who scored 70 points last week on Denver. And they're on the road against the Bills. And like I said when I mentioned when I talked about the Ravens, the Bills are a team that they just inexplicably lose games to teams that they should easily win. And um, uh, Josh Allen has a tendency to try to do too much quite often. And against this Dolphins high octane offense and let's let's face it their defense wasn't bad either their defense hasn't been bad either they're undefeated and uh the bills are two and one but you know what i'm going with the dolphins on the road next one you got is the broncos and the bears the two perfectly defeated zero and three teams and um Perfectly defeated is a good word for it. The Broncos are coming off a game where they lost by 50 points. And the uh, Bears are coming off a game where they got crushed. Now, it was to Kansas City. So, I mean, I guess there's a little understandability there. But uh, the Bears, even though they're at home, the Bron- I'm going with the Broncos. The Broncos have an offense that is at least competent. Even if their defense... And their defense cannot be as bad as what we saw last week. And in fact, it was supposed to be pretty good. It was supposed to be a top five NFL defense. But even if it's not, even if it's terrible, there's no way that the, this Bears team is dropping a 70 on them. So I'm going to go with the Broncos in that game. Next one you got is the Commanders are on the road going down to Philly. Or going up to Philly. They're going up the... Uh, up the, uh, I don't what, what do they call it, the Beltway. They're going up the Beltway to Philadelphia. Um, yeah, you got to go with the Eagles here. I mean, there's nothing even really to discuss. The Eagles are hitting on all cylinders. Now, they do have uh, a good uh, early season schedule. It's kind of soft, but that's allowing them to hit their stride and figure out what they've got to do, and by now they probably know. And against the Commanders, even if they still didn't know yet, they they would figure it out on the fly and beat the Commanders. So we're going with the Eagles. Next one you got is the Steelers at the Texans. Now, I'm not a big fan of the Steelers. I don't think they've still figured out their offense. If there's a worse offensive team than the Bears, it's the Steelers. I think they have like 21 offensive points in three weeks. Um, but they have a great, great defense. And the Texans quarterback is C.J. Stroud. He had a good game last week, but he's still a rookie. And I think that defense is going to eat that kid alive. So uh, somehow the Steelers are going to pull this one out probably and uh, and beat the Texans. They're going to need their defense to do it, but that defense doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Uh, the Raiders at the Chargers. Now, um, the the biggest problem with the Chargers is that their coach, Staley, is an idiot. But, even though he's an idiot, and he almost cost them a win last week, uh, the Raiders the Raiders are just, I, I, I think they're kind of, they're kind of wishy-washy. That's what I would say. They're a wishy-washy team. And if the Chargers can, you know, I mean, they, you know, they've got Herbert and they've got um, Eckler and, I mean, they've got some offensive weapons on that team. I'm, and they're at home. I'm going with the Chargers. Next one's the Cardinals and the 49ers. <laughs> Come on. Come on, people. We're going to go with the 49ers here to stay undefeated. Um, there's not, there's not even further discussion required. Now I know that the Cardinals beat Dallas, but again, Dallas, you know, Buffalo, uh, Baltimore, you can throw them into that group of teams 
that just every so often lose a game that there's no way in hell they should lose. Um, but um, and they did it. The Dallas did it last week to the Cardinals. They lost to the Cardinals. But it, that shouldn't be construed to mean that the Cardinals are good. And uh, yeah, the 49ers are going to eat them up. Next one you got is the Pats at the Cowboys. Now here's the Cowboys. Here's that team that inexplicably loses games to teams that they should beat. But I don't think that's going to happen with the Patriots. The Patriots won last week. I went out on a little bit of a limb and I said they were going to beat the Jets in New York. And they did do it. But they needed their defense and uh, they only got 15 points. They won 15-10. to 10. Um, I, don't, I don't think the Cowboys are going to let that happen again. Plus, I don't think the Cowboys are going to lose two of those games in a row, two weeks in a row. Let's hope they don't. Uh, the next one you got is the Chiefs at the Jets. The Jets are just in disarray right now. First of all, they're standing by Zach Wilson for some inexplicable reason. They refuse to go to anything else. They refuse to sign anybody else like a Colt McCoy or uh, a Carson Wentz. They are sticking with Wilson. That's not a good idea at all. It's like the worst. It's like you, you got a whole bunch of ideas. The worst possible one is we're going to stick with Wilson. So, um, I, I, you know, I got, and plus it's the Chiefs. I mean, it's the Chiefs. I, I just got done busting on the Jets. So, giving you the impression, I would have picked them to lose to almost anybody, which I would have almost anybody. But certainly the Chiefs. So we're going to go with the Chiefs there. Now the Monday, October 2nd game is the Seahawks at the Giants. Again, this is, this is another one. It's another tough game to call. But i got to go with the Giants. They're at home. Maybe that's like the only reason I'm going to go with them. Yeah, it could be. The only reason I'm going to go with them is I'm taking the Giants. Because the Seahawks... Again, we don't really know what the Seahawks' identity is. Uh, we really don't know what kind of team they are, whether they're good, bad, mediocre, somewhere between mediocre and bad, somewhere between good and mediocre. I don't know. Do you? If you know, let me know in the comments. But I'm going to take the Giants in this one. So those are the picks. How do you guys like them? Again, in the comments below, leave a comment. Let me know what games you disagree with me on. Again, this is I think this is going to be a tough week. I'll be ecstatic if I come out of this one 10 and 6. Uh, but um, leave a comment, let me know, and that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.